Hello, my name is Renette Bower and I am the Creative Artistic Director of CCMF. I've been working with choirs my whole life and it's my passion. This is the very first Udumo and may it be the first of many to come. The idea of Udumo is to bring people together across race, gender, age, and to create wonderful memories of sharing music memories. May you go away from here feeling inspired, filled with joy and hope for the future of our colourful and beloved South Africa. Um, we've decided to create a collaboration event. We call it Udumu. Udumu means honour. Because when you start to really interact with people, um, it, it's a real honor to be associated with them and you start to understand the differences and you also start to embrace the differences and see that as a strength and not as a, as a threat. So the last two days was just the most incredible two days of our lives. Me and my crew um, planned this event for months with the big six conductors that you will see on stage tonight. And to actually have the choirs here and to see them perform on stage together was just a miracle in our lives. We have 18 choirs that's coming from all different walks of life and they all rehearsed on their own. And in the last two days, we put everything together. And what you will see tonight is the product of really hard work. These children and singers were just rock stars. It was really very taxing on them. Please give them a big hand. Welcome to the stage, Hanneli van Sittert. She is our master conductor for the Uduma Choir Project and will be conducting the primary school mass choir. Hanneli has over 37 years experience in the world of choirs and has achieved great heights in this time. We are excited to have you here tonight, Hanneli.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mbuson Lovu, originally from KZN. Um, yeah, but now I'm based here in Pretoria, and I'm just a global citizen, so yeah. What's important? It is such a great honor to be here. Um, I, I've, I've been gifted with the gift of music that I've been now able to share with the world. I work with a number of schools. Um, I compose, I arrange, but what's important is that I just want to share my happiness with everyone around me. It has been an incredible journey with, with Udumo, with this project Udumo, a project choir, and we met all the choirs yesterday, and I've had a, an honor of working with these incredible young people, and first of all, a new word here, Fondasi. So that means foundation. So it was a beautiful cultural exchange. And that's why we call ourselves the Fondasi Mass Choir. <laughs> so tonight, tonight we're going to do two songs for you. One is Rico Jen, meaning we are entering. It's a prayer in Venda that says, Lord, enter with us, enter with us, and start with us. Then the second song is in Sisutu, it says, it means when we dance, we are merciless. I'm sure you will see the energy of this incredible choir. When they dance, they're really merciless. And then it says, skelem, hey, skelem, 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 hey. Then the last part, it says, safi kemambozana, sachi kemambozana, which means we've been to Port Elizabeth, and then we come from Port Elizabeth. It's a fun song. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and friends and family, and to all of the choristers sitting in the house, hello again. Hi. Usually, I don't like speaking in front of audience. It's weird, because I'm a conductor, so I like turning my back on an audience and enjoying the music. But today, this wonderful kids behind me give me the courage to speak to you freely. I think there are moments in life which are so unique and so vivid that one day, when you look back, you took a picture in your mind and your soul, and it's almost when you think about that picture that you can smell and feel the room that you were in. And I think the past two days is one long picture taken in my head of this wonderful moment. So firstly, thank you to Alta, CCNF, and the whole of Uduma Project for giving us this opportunity to perform. A good friend of mine, a few years ago, asked me, Ruan, what is your fight? And I was like, well, karate? Um, that's not what she was speaking about. She wanted to know, what is my fight in life? And instantly, it connected with me. A big thing, it's that thing that irks you, that thing that bothers you about life. I think we can all agree that we would like to make a change in this world. But I think without a personal fight, that change will never happen. So my fight is definitely racism, especially in the country that we live in. I think we need to celebrate unity through diversity. Now the song that we'll be doing for you today is called Sisi Nimoja. It is a Swahili term that translates into we are one. Please enjoy.
Hello, everyone. Uh, I must say I'm very much excited to be here. I go by the name of Olani Masango, all the way from Sochanguve. I am currently the resident conductor at Tuan Invest of Technology, the Sochanguve campus. Um, I've been conducting this choir for over six years now. When I started conducting, actually before that, I used to look at my conductors from primary all the way through to university. And then I said to myself, one day I would like to be like these people. Only two hands, 10 fingers, but they are able to control 60 voices. Then I said to myself, one day it's going to be me. And I, look, I used to look at other conductors conducting. I used to look at other conductors, you know, working on the music and the voices. Then I started learning through observation up until I was mentored by different conductors. Uh, and it's an honor that some of the conductors I learned from, the conductor who taught me how to beat correctly, Tepo Matlala is here. Muhao Muhale is here. Quite a number of conductors who contributed in the skill that I do have now, I would like to appreciate them. And I do hope that you will enjoy. As you saw the beautiful voices that have performed before this adult choir, it shows that music indeed can and is uniting us as, as, as Africans. So I hope that you will enjoy our performance. We will start with Opti Rande, Van de Volke, and then we're going to end with uh, uh, God bless Africa, pray for, for Africa. But there is something that I want to do that is in my heart, and I know that it's not part of the, the program. The person who made sure that tonight we are gathered in this roof, you know, every time I share these words, I can literally experience tears in my eyes. Alta, she's very old. But she's able, she's able to handle the pressure and to ensure that she keeps us under one roof, to ensure that we see no color, to ensure that we see us as equal as brothers and sisters. So, I would like us, I would like us, if it happens, if, if it's possible, can we shine the light to Alta? She's right there. And we give her a stand. Innovation. Let's stand up and give a round of applause. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as we start our performance, we are accompanied by Tumi Ramonti. Please do enjoy.
Ladies and gentlemen, now that you have heard our four mass choirs, I just want to explain the concept of Huduma to you. Um, this is actually a miracle that tonight is happening and we are all really very blessed because we only started with the project two months ago. And what happened is we appointed our six master conductors, they selected music and it was sent to the choirs. And we have a choir here from Polakwani, the, pit, the Lorsko Pitichu. The headmaster is in the house, thank you very much for sending your choir. Um, So the idea behind the concept was that um, we want to push everybody out of their comfort zones a little bit. So the master conductors were mostly younger singers. We needed Annelies experience with the young children. Um, and they selected music that was given to the conductor. And that conductor then have to teach his choir music that he didn't select himself, which is very difficult. So they did that over the two month period. And then yesterday, Everybody came together, and that is why tonight is really a special night. These people worked very hard. Last night, everybody was absolutely out of it, so tired. Um, so the, the choirs came, conductor, uh, come, came put together only yesterday with their master conductor, and they only had two sessions of an hour each to work the choirs to get to this point. So, incredible. We really need to give these conductors a big hand. And I think the point that I also want to make is that we mustn't forget the, con the, the participating choirs conductor, so the resident conductor, because that person received music and he had to teach it to the choir. Um, so thank you to each and every conductor that is sitting in the audience tonight to spend time teaching your choirs music that you not necessarily know or would have chosen for yourself. So well done, guys. Let's clap. Give them a big hand. Okay, so what we're going to do after the break is all four choirs are now going to come together and we're going to build a really combined choir. So this was already mass choirs. The choirs range from 150 to more than 200 singers, which is huge choirs. Um, and now everybody's going to come on stage and we're going to build a choir with more than 700 singers on the stage. So for that purposes, we want to ask you all to please take a break. Please evacuate the auditorium because it's not a pretty sight to get 700 people on stage. So please go and grab a cold drink, eat a chocolate, do something nice, and we will call you when you can come back in when the choir is on stage and ready to perform. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an absolute honor to be here. This is Five This is our coming for the evening. Yes. stand on the stage and the amount of people in the audience is less than the people that are on the stage. Okay? So I think we can give them a round of applause. Thank you for coming. fantastic colleagues of mine that have been conducting tonight and Mahal Khali that will be conducting after me, one, another of the mass choir works. And I must say that it's been a fantastic experience. But we are professional. Oh, no, how do I say this? I think we can be called professional, all of us. But we were not professional when we got here. I must say, when this bunch of Pelukas pitched up yesterday, okay, um, it, it didn't go so well at first. If I can give you a picture, can you remember what you looked like? Yeah, oh, some of them looked the same, right? Eh? And there was a lot of, if you try to see the unison, in just one note, you get a few. So, what is A flat? U, B, let's try. Let's see if you can remember what you sounded like. Three, and U, B, You know. So we started with that and took a lot of years, a few years, really a lot. And we spent a lot of time together in Bond. And I would like to illustrate to you where we ended up this afternoon for tonight's concert. Let's see how it goes. Three and 
Good evening. Um, thank you guys for coming. My name is Mohao Mohale, um, all the way from Pretoria, but I was born in the small town of Soy Zaraneke in the Northwest. Um, today, with this beautiful choir, we are going to render a song composed by a guy called Joshua Podumo Mohabelwa, all the way from Lesotho. The name of the song is Leba. Leba means a dove. I hope you'll hear the dove as we sing. And it will be accompanied by a young man uh, from Soshanguve, a self-taught accompanist. He's now one of the best young accompanists in the country. The one and only thing. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh,
Wow. <laughs> yeah. It's hectic to conduct the mass choir. It's not as easy as a small choir. Uh, you try to use all the energy you have. But because God grants us an opportunity to administer and talk to people and speak to people through music, it's possible. The next one that you're going to do is Selesonile. Selesonile is by uh, Dr. Huma Gagula from the kingdom of Eswatini. Uh, this one, you're going to dance a little bit, and if you feel the spirit, dance with us. All of the best in your dance.
fantastic thing that I can say from being a conductor, being part of this process is, I think it's an amazing experience for singers to be able to meet other singers from other schools, from other cultures, from other provinces. But it's also amazing for conductors to spend time with conductors because that's something that you never really do and see how they do things and the interesting tricks that they use in their parts. And it's really been a learning experience. And Mahal has been really inspiring in the way that he treats the choir and the way that he gets sound of the choir. So that was fantastic to work with him on the mass choir works. That has now brought us to the last work. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very special work because this is the anthem of the Udumo project. It is the Udumo anthem. Um, it was commissioned by the CCN, by Alpha Mare, from myself for this project to embody an idea of what this stands for. And um, I decided to use a specific line that says, Woza Tula Memeza, which means come sing and shout, Udumo. Because that is what this really is about. It is inviting everyone to come along. It doesn't matter if you struggle to do your clicks, it doesn't matter if you struggle to say an Afrikaans, or if it's difficult to shuffle, we help each other and then we become friends. And that is an amazing experience. And I think from all of us, this experience would not have been possible if the stage hadn't been built for us by a very special lady that made it even possible. Alta, why done? Thank you very, very much. <laughs>
end of this spectacular two days for all of us, I want to please ask you to give a special round of applause to these young singers, they and all the singers and old people like me. We are very tired. <laughs> evening by thanking you all for being part of our inaugural event. It's the first one in the country. We intend to roll it out to all the provinces in South Africa by 2025. I know I'm a little bit cuckoo, so I plan it. Um, next year we're going to do another one in Gauteng and KZN and in the Western Cape. And like I said, by 2025 there will be a Nudumu in every province. And the idea is to, to create this magic. Unbelievable. I would really like you, if you enjoyed the evening, to please um, follow us on our Facebook page, to leave a comment, um, because we really need to create momentum. This project is our outreach event for the year, um, and we would like to provide food for students who are struggling, who doesn't have enough money to eat. And we also have an outreach project in the community where there's families who can't eat. So if you want to donate or you want to get involved, let us know. We would love to um, assist those communities. Um, and next year, 16 and 17 June, we want you to please help us to fill 7,000 seats with this, for this event. But we can't do it without your help. So please, next year, remember, write it down, 16 and 17. So the 17th will be the gala concert. Please join us. Post on social media. Ask your children if you don't know how to do that. I always have to do that. Um, so please just get the word out there that we are trying to make a difference by working together through collaboration. Thank you for your wonderful time, and I trust that you had a good night and that you take something in your heart home tonight that will sustain you in the weeks ahead. Thanks for everything. <laughs>